The congratulatory letter, which came three days after the Supreme Court judgment reaffirming Governor Gobi Nobaseki as a dual state governor, has raised some issues to be resolved among different stakeholders in the political landscape of the state. The most considerable aspects of the letter was the appeal to the governor to kindly address the issue of the 14 members elect of the Edo State House of Assembly who are yet to be inaugurated even when the case is in court and that they could resolve the issue through alternative dispute resolution mechanism. Another issue was also the appeal for the payment of emoluments to some councillors and vice chairmen of the last local government dispensation who had issues during the last governorship election. A legal practitioner, Austin Ibudi, was of the view that, though there is no arm in a congratulatory message, the embedded context is uncalled for and should not even come into mention at all as events have overtaken the issues. The councillors and some of the uh, supervisory councillors who decided for reason best known to them, perhaps politics, and they were trying to please their godfathers and their sponsors. So it is up to them. I believe that their congratulation is too late. Their advice is too late. Right now, at do state, we have a new breadth of uh, politics. A former publicity secretary to a do state chapter of APC and chairman Nigeria Union of Journalists NUJ Comrade Godwin Iran said it was unfortunate that a harmless appeal in a congratulatory message has received such criticism from persons who engage in lip services and does not have genuine love for the governor. Majority of our people are sadist. They believe in building negative impute into what is truly positive. I don't see anything wrong in what uh, Pastor Sageza Yamo has done. Chieftain of the PDP, Charles Idaosa, was of the view that the congratulatory message was unnecessary and his demands were uncalled for because, apart from the governor not having the constitutional power to call the absconded lawmakers back, the issue being canvassed were already mundane. I'm surprised uh, that people are even talking about it. It's not something to be talked about because himself, the governorship candidate, exhausted his right to get to the Supreme Court. Why didn't he settle out of court? The call for the 14 lawmakers, a case that is already in court, he exhausted his own to Supreme Court. He should wait for the legislators to get to Supreme Court too. A fourth one were reporting.